So the first card you have you passed is uh, the Queen of Pentacles. Really, really nice, um, really nice card, really calm card. Uh, a lot of these readings this week, and I, I, I'm feeling a bit um, this a bit here as well. Uh, there's a lot of depth here. You know, there's a lot of depth, a lot of, um, feels a little bit heavy. I'm getting that in this whole reading. I just want to say that, um, you know, you've got the devil and all these things. So I'm not going to go into that now, but it feels quite heavy. And a lot of the readings this week are a bit like that. Uh, uh, very uh, moody, all that kind of thing. But yeah, the first card is the opposite of that. <laughs> a very, very calm, a very peaceful card. Uh, it feels like you're concentrating on a number of different things at the same time, but you're, you're still very almost isolated in a way. You're in your own little bubble. It's like you pinpoint focus. It's like I've got this focus, that focus. I'm shutting out a lot of things. I'm focused on myself. One of the things you were focused on was your money. Uh, there was a little bit of unsurety around money, uh, but I'm getting this feeling of, um, you know, I think you're keeping a lot of that to yourself because I'm getting this, oh, I'm strong, I'm fine, everything's going to be fine. And you do that. You have to be strong for other people. And I always see this in your readings. Um, you were strong for people you're protecting. Uh, there might be a child here that you're protecting. This is a mother, obviously, so I'm getting a little bit of that, if that's you. Um, and uh, so, yeah, you're, you're very strong for other people. So I've seen this in your readings before. Similar thing I'm seeing again. And I think you're protecting yourself uh, from not just the outside world, but I think from your background. I think you're protecting you. This is what I'm getting. You're protecting yourself. Uh, you're protecting someone else. And you're protecting how you're feeling inside yourself from something in your background. I'm getting this influence. I'm getting this influence. And you wanted to protect this child, if this is you with this child, from some of the influences of your background. Maybe this is family. And because it feels like maybe you're brought up by someone you weren't very happy with, or maybe uh, they brought you up in a way you weren't happy with. There's a lot of pain here. If this is you, so it feels like you're you're protecting yourself from going back there. Maybe you blocked people. Maybe you cut some people off. Maybe you just were distancing yourself, and um, and it feels like you're distancing this child from that as well because you don't want this child to go through things that you went through. And I think you've come to this realization now at some time that you don't want them to go through that because sometimes when you're brought up in a way that's not all that great or it's difficult or whatever it's it's hard for you to see the reality of that um and, until you kind of step back and especially when you have a child yourself um you know and you've got this amazing love for them if this is you because look at the way this queen's looking at this coin so you know uh, and that's, you know, when you have a child yourself and you have this love, this amazing love for a child, you start to realise um, the things and you start to think, well, um, I'd never say that to my child. I'd never do that to my child. I've never, I'd never act that way toward my child. So why did that happen to me? And so I'm not going to let that happen again. I'm not going to let them go through that. So that's kind of what I'm getting here. Um, if that's you, you're absolutely doing the right thing following your instincts, protecting them from some of your past. That's what I'm seeing. There's some pretty bad behaviour here. Obviously, this is just for a few people, but I, I wanted to say this for someone who needed to hear this. Um, on the money thing, on the money side of things, again, you're going to get through a difficult time with money. Uh, I, I'm getting lots of tenacity here, clever ways, clever ways to kind of um, use what you've got, budgeting, all that kind of thing. And also clever ways to make money as well. You're kind of looking outside of the norm. Uh, and I'm getting a lot of that looking outside of the norm. And I think that's another thing, this, this way that you think outside of the norm is another way that you're separate or you're separated from some people in your family. They think in a very set way, in a certain way, you've moved on from that. And you, you're kind of, you love this new person that you are now away from all of that. And you're protecting that. You're protecting what's inside of you. Um, and I'm feeling this very spiritual thing as well inside you. It feels like you've got this new spiritual way. So maybe you've moved on from some old beliefs that um, the people in your family have and you've got this new spiritual way. And I'm seeing that in the world card and I'm going to talk about that now. It's, it's like freedom, spiritual freedom. 
So you've got this spiritual freedom and it's like, oh, I can I can be myself now. This is how this feels. I can be myself. I don't have to be what they want me to be. I can be me. Um, and it feels like you've, you're keeping a lot of how you're feeling spiritually to yourself. You've got all these new ideas. Uh, maybe they're a bit unconventional, but they're right for you. doesn't matter. They're right for you. And so you've got all these new feelings, all these new ideas. And so you just, maybe because we're all in isolation, so you haven't really had to go out and talk to a lot of people. So it, it's kind of good for you, this isolation, if that's for you, because you've been uh, thinking about this, all these spiritual things and really, really growing just being by yourself, because I'm getting this constriction. Maybe this is what you had around your family or whoever you had in your past. And now there's this freedom here. And it's really internal, very special, very beautiful. Uh, it, it feels like I can be who I am now. Look at this woman. She's so free. I can be who I am. I can grow. I can grow now. I can process all my thoughts now that I'm by myself. I'm not around these people anymore. And... Um, Again, you're protecting this child from that as well, if, if this is you with a child. Um, so it's like, you know, I was held back in my past. I'm not going to let them be held back. I want them to grow. I want them to be themselves. I want them to experience things like I'm able to now. And so if, if that's you, they're going to grow. They're going to do that under your watch. So you're doing an amazing job if that's you. And I'm just looking over at the devil and the chains in that card. And it feels like... You were under these chains when you were with your family or whoever this was in your past. You've broken the chains and you've broken the chains for this child. They don't have to suffer these chains. So that's kind of what I'm seeing. I know that's probably only for a few people, but I have to say what I'm seeing. I really hope the right people get to hear that because it's very, very positive, very beautiful, very spiritual and very, very special. You've got a very special, unique spiritual way that you're going in if, if this is you and you need to follow that everyone needs to follow their own unique spiritual path there's no right there's no wrong it's what's right for you it's what's right for you um so the last card you have for your past is uh past is the chariot what am i saying past past um so yeah, so you're determined to go that way. You're determined to go your own way. You know where you're going. I don't think you feel totally confident all the time. It's not that. It's a similar thing to what I was seeing in the, in the Queen of Pentacles. It's like, yes, I'm strong. Everything's fine. Um, I'm trying to protect myself. I'm trying to protect these other people. I'm trying to protect. Again, I keep on seeing this child. Probably not for everyone, but it's for some people that I'm getting this child and you're protecting. Because there's this big box around this man. You know, he's protected um, by all this armor as well. Um, and so, yeah, you've got to protect yourself. You've got to protect what's inside yourself. And, and that's the message I'm getting. And I know I'm repeating myself, but I won't say any more about this after that. Um, I'm getting protect what's inside you. Protect the spiritual path you're on. It's very, very special. So if, if someone comes in to criticize or tell you to stop or tell you to, that you can't believe that, you should believe this or that, whatever, protect yourself from those voices, protect yourself from that. So that's the message there. Um, I'm also getting protection from love. Uh, probably an axe love it looks like or someone that's coming in and out um because look at the positioning of these cards you've got the knight of wands right next to this and it looks like he's kind of about to ride into this chariot and bump into it actually um you know if you look at the chariot he's very steady he's very strong he's very stable and if you look at the knight of wands he's kind of jumping up and down he doesn't know where he is and he's about to come in and run into you so it looks like you've got someone who's coming back it might be someone that's come backwards and forwards into your life before and very chaotic energy around them. I'm getting that. Um, yeah, so you're coming up as the chariot. They're coming up as this knight of wands. And I'm getting this. This is what I'm getting. I'm getting this word need, need. I need you. I need that feeling. Because look at this knight. He's totally unstable. And he's like, oh, I need stability. I feel I don't know what I'm doing. I need that stability back again. And I think they saw that in you, that strength, because obviously you're Leo, you're strong. So they saw this strength. They saw that stability. They saw what you so store. <laughs> they saw what you stood for. And uh, they want that. They miss that. They miss that in you. And I keep on getting this need. I need that. I need that. 
I need them. Very, very needy. So it's quite intense, quite intense. You might be feeling that around you. You might already have them around you because I'm getting this person who comes in, in and out, in and out, backwards and forwards. And it's almost like... This is what I'm getting when I look at these two cards together, the Chariot and the Knight of Wands. You start to get out of, of, of from around this energy, this kind of backwards and forwards energy, and you start to feel strong again. And you're like, okay, I'm strong. You know, I'm hurt from my past, but I'm getting over that. I'm starting to feel strong. I'm stable again. And then they come in again, and it all starts all over again. And, and that's why you're protected in the chariot. So just something I'm seeing now. So, you know, if you feel, if, you're, if your instincts are telling you to protect yourself, that's the right thing to do. Uh, but they are coming in if they haven't already. So, so that's kind of what I'm seeing there. And they feel as if they need you. I need them. I need them. I need that feeling back. I'm getting that really, really intensely. Okay, so uh, very intense. So the false card you have your present is uh, the Knight of Pentacles. So you know, you've got knights everywhere here. You've got three knights. And sometimes lots and lots of knights um, can mean, uh, you know, unexpected conversations. Uh, conversations that suddenly come in. And that's exactly what I'm seeing with the Knight of Wands and the Chariot. Someone suddenly coming in. Um, animated as well. Uh, so it's really rare to see all these knights in the one reading. So again, that's showing you that this person's probably going to be in and out again. And I'm just looking at this and I'm looking at the Ten of Cups as well. Um, and I'm getting this need again in my head, this word need, need. And I hate using the word needy, but I keep on getting this, I need. This is what I'm getting. I'm getting this sentence. I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I need you in my life. Uh, so that's what they're thinking about you. I need you in my life. They might have said that to you before. I need you in my life when you were leaving. Because I'm getting this I'm getting this picture of you leaving and, and protecting yourself. And then they come and say, I need you in my life. But you've got to think about, they might need you in their life. What do you need? What is the best thing for you? I think that's a big thing you've got to think about. They're quite serious about this. It's like they're starting to value your stability. And they're thinking about this. They're very, very serious. Um, and I think at one time you you had a stable future. Or you felt that you did. And you both wanted this stable future together. Um, because with this Ten of Cups, uh, that's what it is. And I think that's what you had at one time. And they're looking back over that time. They're looking back over that. The future they thought they had with you. And, and the future you thought you had with them. Um, and they're missing that. That's the stability they're missing. Um, you know, because... This couple's looking in on this house, on the Ten of Cups. They're looking in on this, but they're not there yet. There's like kind of a barrier between them and um, the house and all that. So that's what they're feeling. They're like, I want to get in. I want to get in. But there's this barrier, same one I'm seeing in the chariot. So, you know, you really, really love this person at one time. I, I'm seeing that here. You know, when you've got the Ten of Cups, that's what that means. That's the future you thought you had with them. I think you gave them lots of chances, lots and lots of chances, actually, because I keep on seeing this. They come in, you know, you get upset and whatever happens and they go away again. You put this barrier up, you start to get over things and then they come back again. I'm seeing this cycle going around and around and around. So you're giving them chance after chance. So, you know, I don't want to tell you what to do. I don't want to influence you because you might want them back. You might be missing them. I don't know. But I just have to tell you what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing lots and lots of warnings. And there's this need. There's this need. And it comes from this place of being needy. What, you know, I, I'm thinking about what I want. I want this. I'm only thinking about what I need, what I want. I'm not thinking about what anyone else wants. And it feels a bit like, I'm not saying they're like this. It's, this is just an example. When you think about, um, you know, a baby, for example, I'm not saying they're like a baby. <laughs> I'm just using this as an example. Babies have needs when they're born, obviously. And so they need someone to do everything for them, feed them, wash them, bathe them, all that kind of thing. But they're not aware. They're not aware of everything that's being done for them. They're just babies. They don't know. They just cry. They have a need. And then it's fulfilled. 
And so that's a very selfish place to come from. And I think that's where they're coming from. And I think you know that. And I think that's why you put these barriers up and you try and walk away and then they come back again and you come back again. And so you've got to think about, are they thinking about what you want? Or are they just thinking about what they want? And the other thing is, how many chances are you willing to give someone? You know, sometimes if you really love someone, you can give them lots and lots of chances. A lot of people do that. Um, and that's fine if that's what you choose to do. But you've really got to look at all these things and what their motivations are. And why do they miss you so much? Why do they need you so much? You know, loving someone isn't just about, I need this for myself. I need this to feel better. It's about give and take. It's about what do they feel like? What do they want? What do they need? So you've got to think about about all of that and again with all these nights here there's going to be some kind of conversation that comes up and I think that they're going to come in quite quickly and I am seeing a lot of animated spirited conversation not arguments I'm not seeing that but lots and lots of talk lots and lots of animated talk um I don't know if you can hear that but there's some kind of noise going on someone's playing a sounds like a ukulele I'm sorry about that. Okay, it stopped now. So that any noise really affects me. Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, the first card you have for your future, which is the Knight of Cups. Okay, hopefully that won't start again. When we're all on lockdown, you hear every noise, everyone's at home. Okay, so yeah, with, with the Knight of Cups, again, what this is showing you is it's all over this um, reading. They're going to come in. They have this need. They want to come in. They want to talk to you. Again, this is love with the Knight of Cups. So it's a love offer. So they're going to come in. They need you. They might even say that again. I need you in my life. So just watch out for hearing that phrase. I need you in my life. They might say that to you. Um, but, you know, really, really, really think about um, whether you want to go through all this again. Because what I'm seeing in this card is hard work. Because um, I'm just looking at this this big mountain that's in front of this knight. It's a big, red, barren mountain. So if you had to climb up that mountain, that's hard work. And that's what I'm seeing in front of you, if you agree to talk to them or go ahead with them. And you know, there's no trees on this mountain. So let's say if you're climbing up, there'd be no trees to grab onto. There's no water. It's very barren and dry. Lots and lots and lots of work ahead of you. I know it sounds like I'm putting you off this person, but I, if I come across all these red flags, I have to tell you what I'm seeing. Okay, so just that again. So Okay, there's something else I'm getting here. Um, this is probably just for a few people. Uh, there's something to do with this. It feels sensitive, feels sensitive. Words, music, songwriting. This is someone you miss. This is someone you haven't seen for a long time. They appreciated music. There's lots of sensitivity around them. Uh, okay, before I say any more, uh, this might be someone who's not on this earth anymore. So if you don't like this kind of message, skip ahead now, go forward now, because I don't want to upset anyone. But sometimes when I see these things, uh, they're coming in for someone. So lots of sensitivity around this person. Uh, you knew that sensitive side of them. Maybe other people didn't see that, but you did. Yeah, I'm getting drawing here. So they're into all kinds of arts, music, um, you know, writing, drawing. I'm seeing pencil drawings. So maybe they had pencil drawings. I'm seeing a pencil drawing up on a wall. That's what I'm seeing. Very creative person. Uh, they're happy. They're happy. Um, I don't know what this is about, but I'm going to say there's falling asleep something around falling asleep. I, I don't know what that means, but whoever this is for, they want you to know they're happy and that they're, they're, they're well and they're happy. That That's what I want to tell you. A uh, very sensitive person. I, I can see that again. Uh, so I'm, I'm not going to say any more about that, but they want you to know that they're happy. Uh, I don't know if they fell asleep, if you saw them asleep or with their eyes closed. So just getting that again. Um, but they're happy. Okay, so I'm not going to say any more about that because I feel very strange when I talk about things like that. And a lot of people don't like it. Uh, so no more about that. Okay, so the next card you have for your future is uh, the horrible 
ugly old devil. And he's coming up everywhere in these readings. He's all over the readings this week. I don't know why. Sometimes they come up all the time and sometimes you never see them. So it's one of those weeks. Um, okay, so again, I'm getting this moving away from these people in your past. Again, maybe family. Uh, I'm not saying your family is the devil, but this is all about moving away from influences that were holding you back, especially spiritually, especially spiritually. So you've got all these knights here. So again, knights, lots and lots of knights can be about unexpected um, conversation, people coming in and saying things to you. So get ready for some kind of person coming from the past, probably your family, because there's family here. I'm seeing someone coming in. I'm seeing someone who's com coming in and they're very, very critical. So the thing is, this is really interesting, actually. I know this is horrible. I know no one wants to be criticized. And I can see that someone's going to come in and criticize you. And they're going to kind of drag you back again. And you're moving forward. You're in the chariot. You're getting away from all of that old influence. Uh, you've broken the chains. You're moving on. But what they're going to try and do is they're going to try and come in and criticize you. And look at this devil. He's holding up his hand. So it's like, stop. I don't want you to move forward. I want you to come back to where we are. The other, but the really, really interesting thing I'm seeing in this card, and I haven't seen this before. This is kind of, well, not the first time, but it's the first time I've seen this kind of thing in this card. It actually feels good. It feels like you're going to move on. And what I'm seeing is, this is going to light a fire under you. <laughs> it's like I've had a fire lit under me and it's making me move forward. It's making me uh, fiery and, and more and more determined to do what I want to do. Because if you look at his right hand, he's holding this torch and it's lighting this tail of this man that's on the right hand side. So I think this criticism is actually going to light a fire under you. And it's going to make you say, no, no. I'm even more determined to go forward, especially spiritually, because this is the opposite of spirituality, I'm trying to say, this devil here. And you're going to move forward. You're going to be even more determined to move forward into your own, um, on your own path, in your own way, not just spiritually, but in other ways as well. And it's really interesting because we've got, um, you know, the world card that's in the, on the opposite end of this devil and they're opposites. You know, we've got spiritual awakening, spiritual opening up, spiritual freedom. Then we've got the devil on the other side. So you're going to move away from that. And the other really th interesting thing I'm seeing here is that's showing me this as well. Right under this, you've got the hierophant. And the hierophant is, is lifting up his hand and he's, he's got this, he's, whole, he's making this spiritual sign, which is the blessing sign. But it also looks like he's saying no as well. He's holding up his hand and he's saying no to the devil. And he's all about religion, spirituality, all that kind of thing as well. So the devil's holding his hand up to you, which is the people in your past, and saying, no, I want you to come back with me. I'm going to criticize you. That's going to put you off and it's going to put you backwards. And you're saying, no, I'm going forward anyway with the hierophant. And that's what you're going to do. So it's like blessings, but it's also a no sign to the devil. So keep on moving forward in your spirituality, keep on protecting yourself um, from this devil, from this past. Again, I'm not saying your family's the devil. It's all about influence, not being influenced by your past. So you're going to do that. It's really good. I love that I'm seeing this. Um, so yeah, that's all I really want to say about that. Uh, you're very determined, you're very strong. It looks like also you're going to be very strong this time to say no to this uh, person who keeps coming backwards and forwards. I'm not exactly sure of that. I can see a conversation coming in with this person. They really, really need you. They've got lots and lots of love for you, but it's kind of skewered. It's skewed in with this, I need you, I need you thing. Uh, so it, it doesn't feel it feels like genuine. It feels like they love you, but it's not It's not a give and take kind of love. It's not a give and take kind of love. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, Leo, uh, this is a general reading. Uh, it's not going to resonate with everyone, obviously. Uh, but all I want to say now is thank you so much for watching.